In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can use your content to determine the layout for the post. So here we have a standard post, title, image, and some content. And now I'm going to edit the post. I'm going to add a YouTube video. And that's just a advanced custom field text field. Update. The selectors here for the layout are no longer working, so those are disabled. And now you'll see that we have that change. So that's pretty much what we did is by adding that field in and then setting a condition. So if there is a video field, then to display the different content areas. To set that up, um, I'll just show you here in advanced custom fields. We have this YouTube video ID field in our field group called auto post content and basically what we've done then is we've just said add in a text field standard text field your youtube video id and that's basically it and then it's set to be displayed on the side and this is then using uh, this is on a standard post so that's the advanced custom field just a basic text field and then inside bricks we've set up two conditions so let me run through those so the first condition what we said is and now we look for dynamic data and we basically said if the advanced custom field youtube video id is equal to um, empty then display the first section if the second section and here once again, we go for the dynamic data and we say if the dynamic data and what dynamic data, we're going to get that YouTube video ID and we've just changed the operator to not equal to empty. So if it's not empty, then the second section applies. The third section uh, in this case is not active for this uh, web page. So that's how easy it is then to um, show or hide different sections based on their content if we then just have a look at the content for each section well specifically just the video section um, and i go and have a look at the video you'll see that the video takes its um, source from that um, advanced custom field so we have youtube as the source then for the youtube video id we scroll down to the bottom and we look for the YouTube video ID and we pop that in and that's all that we've done and then save. And then to um, you know give it this key line border, it was just a case of going into styling, going into the um, borders and then uh, styling that video as required. In this case, we styled the container for the video um, and we just added a border and a shadow to that container and that was it so that's how you can uh, determine what content to show based on the content of your post thank you for watching